Hi, my name is Darren Hawkins. I live right here in Troy with my wife Heather. She teaches at Kyle Elementary School. She teaches third grade. I have two girls, Libby, who's 23, lives in Columbus. I have a younger daughter, uh, Emma, who is 17 and goes to school in Plain City. Right now we have a foster child. Her name is Lisa. She's seven, goes to Forest. And we are right now in the adoption process with a little girl named Sierra, who will be the new addition to our family. We have a dog, her name is Juno. We have a cat, his name is Clark. And uh, we're just one big happy family. So I work with a lay group of people called the Contemporary Arts Team. And we take, we gather together once a week and we talk about the service. And we look back at what we did, we kind of critique that, what was working, what didn't work. And then we look forward. We look at the services coming up. We look at the services that are coming up in the series and the next series. And we look at different dramas. What's the pastor preaching on? We look at videos and we look at songs and we look at dances and skits. Because ultimately we, we, we begin with the end in mind. So we want to know what is the takeaway. And then we can add all those little pieces into the service so that it flows well, there's continuity, and sometimes we even take a series and then look at the next series. How, how can they take what they just heard into the series that they're going into and move forward? What we do is every week we gather together, we learn songs, we rehearse songs. It usually takes an hour, hour and a half, sometimes two hours and we're, we're honing their musical skills. A big part of what I do is to help hone them spiritually. And so we spend some time in the Word, we do devotions, sometimes the different worship team members will take those devotions and do them. Again, just it's not just playing great music, but it's being really reliant upon the Holy Spirit to guide our team from the time that we are rehearsing those songs on our own to the time that we come together for rehearsal to the time that we take that onto the stage and draw the congregation into a time of worship to allow them to go boldly into the throne room and just worship God. Out of the darkness you brought me to your light. Colossians says we were made by him and we were made for him. So we were created to worship. And so what a privilege it is to be a worship leader and to be in that place where I can help people move into worship and find uh, that place with the Holy Spirit that maybe they don't find any other time of the week. So as a child, I was blessed to be in a family that taught me the faith, that taught me about Jesus, and we attended church three times a week and twice on Sunday. Um, was always involved in music. I can't remember a time when I, uh, when I just didn't sing. And as I got older, I, I picked up an instrument. My instrument happens to be the guitar. As I became an adult, um, I began to focus more on a career in music and uh, leading worship. And so um, for years I toured. Uh, I went all over the United States and I played in Europe. I played in Germany, in Poland, in Czech Republic, and different places like that. And so, uh, I've been leading worship probably for a good 20 some years. I've been writing music for just about as long. I've recorded two different projects, one called Mercyville, another one called Everyday Jesus. Um, and just continue to write. Continue Instead of writing those kind of songs, I write worship songs now. And so we use a lot of the songs that I write in our worship uh, in our worship services. Probably about 14 years ago, however, uh, I went on full time and started working at uh, different churches uh, as a worship leader. My first my first church I worked at, they actually hired me to start a contemporary worship service. So that was a really good experience for me to learn how to do that. But as I have gone along, it's not just been the music. Part I've done youth ministry, churches that needed some graphic design. I started doing that and found I really love to do that, and I feel like I have that innate gift to do uh, graphic design.
designing, I build the services, I do videography, and I do the website. And so, so God has God has taken this kind of uh, rough musician and honed him into the place that I am now, where um, I do graphic design, I do videography, I do uh, work with the media team, and I work with all those people. And the most important thing for me are the people that I work with. As I bring different people onto the technical arts team or the media team or the worship team, I use this scale called the heart and the art. And on the far end of the heart side are people that maybe aren't as gifted as others, but they do it because they love Jesus and they have this passion. And then on the far side of the heart of the art side are those people that are just amazing musicians. Uh, I tend, when as I'm pulling people in, I'm happy to include all those people, but I tend to fall on the heart side, kind of middle of the road, heart side because really ministry is about people. And if they're willing to do it, then I'm willing to work with them to include them into the ministry. I really love Jesus. And uh, for me, what I believe is that we are saved by faith, we're saved by grace that it's his blood, it was his death, it was his resurrection that uh, allowed us to have that grace and allowed that um, door to be open for us to again have fellowship with him. Um, and because of that grace that we can take what he has given to us, and we can take it out into the world, whether you work in a school, whether you work in a church, whether you work at Starbucks, and that you can share your faith, share what God has done for you with those that you experience throughout the day. And so really God is calling us to be missionaries, cleverly disguised in whatever we're already doing. I just want to say thank you. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Please feel free to go to my website, www.darrenbhawkins.com. Uh, you're going to find more information about who I am and, and what I've done as far as video work, graphic design work. You can see some of the uh, worship that I've been a part of. I will be praying for you folks at True Life Community Church as you prayerfully consider who your next worship arts pastor is going to be. God bless you in all that you do. And I look forward to the opportunity to meet with you and to share my heart. God bless.